what we're going to do over these next two videos is we are going to create a custom skin for our components that we have here. We're going to create them specifically for the scroll bar components. At the moment, they have the default Spark skin. And either, you know, you as the developer, a designer has come to you and said, you know, we need to make this look more interesting. Or as the designer, you've decided that, you know, we just need to liven things up here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to design the skin for the scroll bar in Fireworks CS5. And then we're going to port that across. We're going to export it into Flash Catalyst. And in Flash Catalyst, we'll turn that graphic into a working component skin that'll finally be imported into Flash Builder. And we'll then apply that to these components. Now, it sounds like a lot of work. It's actually very straightforward and very simple. But what we're going to do is split it into a couple of videos just to break it down and to go through it piece by piece. So the first thing we need to do is go over to Fireworks CS5 and design and draw our skin. So I'm going to create a new document here in Fireworks. I'm going to make this. It doesn't really matter what the size is too much, but let's make it a reasonable size to work with. So I'm just going to make it 400 by 400 pixels with a white background and we're going to start drawing some parts here. So what we're going to do is draw out the different sections for the parts that will break down into the component for the scroll bar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag out here a section that will become the scroll, sort of the, the track bar underneath. And I'm just going to drag it out there and I'm going to change some properties down here. I'm going to change the height to 200 and I'm going to change the width to 15 just to make it a little more sort of proportional for a scroll bar and let's change some other properties here let's make it um, let's make it a slightly greener there and I'm going to put some filters in I'm just going to put in an inner shadow just to make it stand out a little more I'm going to make it 50% on the opacity and now let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit just so we can see this a little clearer here and pan around okay so we have the, the sort of the, the track bar that goes underneath. Now it is important for Flash Catalyst that we name these parts with sensible names so that later on you'll understand why. So I'm just going to go ahead and name these as I do and I'm going to call this the track bar. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the little boxes that will go on the top and the bottom for the arrows to scroll up and down. So I'm just going to click, hold down the shift key and drag to get a square there. Just going to make that a little bigger so that it fits properly. And let's change some colors so that you can see a little clearer. Let's make this a little brighter green. Um, I'm not really going for, you know, wonderful looking design here. The reason I'm picking these colors is because I want you to clearly see the different sections as we're building it so you can understand what's going on. So I'm just going to select that now. And let's rename this to the top arrow. And I'm going to copy and paste that now and what I'm going to do is just reposition it I'm going to let fireworks smart guides help me to position it down here and just going to nudge that across and we'll rename this one the bottom arrow okay now we have one more part that we need which is sort of the, the draggable part that you can click on and drag up and down so for that I'm just going to click here and I'm going to draw this out doesn't really matter too much on the size because it's going to scale with the content. So I'm just going to make it a nice size that we can work with. And let's do that. And let's change the color here to make it obvious and stand out from the other parts. Let's go with, say, the lighter green there. Um, OK, let's let's just spruce these up just a little bit. We'll change some properties. And I'm going to go in and put a little bit of a shadow on there. Put another little inner shadow. I'm going to drop this one way down so that you can get the impression that it's sort of raised above the track bar. And I'm going to change the angle too because we want it to be a little more. There you go. That's it, I think. So you can see that's kind of raised where everything else is inset. And I think what we'll do is let's go ahead and add some arrows in these boxes here as well. So I'm just going to change to the polygon tool. And I'm going to make sure that I've got it set up here correctly with three sides. And I'm just going to click. I'm just going to draw it separately here so I can see it. And just draw out a little triangle there. And what we'll do for this, we'll make this completely, not black, but we'll make it pretty dark. There we go. And then I'm just going to position it there. 
and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it and now what we need to do is we need to transform this one and I'm just going to rotate it 180 degrees and position that down there okay so I think we're pretty much complete here however let's take care of some of these properties over here and just to make life easier what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna drag out there and then hold down the shift key and deselect the trackbar so essentially I've got this square and this triangle here and I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna group them together and I'm gonna rename this group now the bottom arrow and I'm gonna do the same thing with the top section here again shift and click on the trackbar to deselect it so it's just these two parts group them and rename it to top arrow okay now there is a uh, one thing we're going to go over here which is an important gotcha when you go over into flash catalyst the way it works this track bar as you can see at the moment if I if I just drag if I'm just going to use the arrow keys and move it over you can see that it's the entire length of this design here now the problem being is when we convert this to a component that means that this this sort of draggable thumb slider section here can actually go up behind these arrows because the bar goes all the way up so and and this can easily catch you out so if you ever get something weird going on just check and maybe check and see if that's what's happening essentially the top and the bottom of this bar is sort of the zero and the hundred percent of the the scroll bar height here the actual section so what I'm gonna do is just resize it so that it fits between the arrows and now I'll just move it back so now in fact let's just move it back there for a second so now what we're saying is that zero percent is this line here and a hundred percent is this line here so this thumb now will not disappear behind these arrows now it probably doesn't make much sense right now but trust me you want to do this because later on it will catch you out and it can drive you crazy trying to think what's happening so just take that into account as you're doing the design there so I think our design is finished here we've got some meaningful names for when we import them over into the component so into flash catalyst sorry so what I'm gonna do is I'm now just gonna go and I'm gonna save this and what I'm gonna do actually is export let's just move the panel so you can see it I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I'm gonna export it in this FXG and images format which is what we'll import into flash catalyst I'm just gonna call it my scroll bar design and hit export and so we're finished now in fireworks and we will next time around we will go into flash catalyst and turn this design into a working component